New York City was originally called New Amsterdam when it was settled by the Dutch in 1624. The Dutch West India Company purchased the island of Manhattan from the Lenape Native Americans for 60 guilders, which is equivalent to about $24 in today's currency. The Dutch named the settlement New Amsterdam after the Dutch capital of Amsterdam, and it served as the capital of the Dutch colony, which was named New Netherland. The colony was later renamed New York in 1664 when the English took control of the colony during the Second Anglo-Dutch War, and the city was renamed New York City. New York City is one of the most diverse and cosmopolitan cities in the world, and as a result, it is home to people from all over the globe who have brought their own cultures, languages, and customs with them. According to the New York City government, over 800 languages are spoken within the city's borders. This diversity is reflected in the city's neighborhoods, where different ethnic and linguistic groups have settled. For example, in Queens, you can find neighborhoods like Flushing and Jackson Heights, where many Asian languages are spoken, including Chinese, Korean, and Bengali. Similarly, in Brooklyn, you can find neighborhoods like Borough Park and Williamsburg, where many Yiddish and Hebrew speakers reside. This diversity is also reflected in the city's public schools, where students speak over 200 different languages. The New York City Department of Education provides translation and interpretation services for parents and students to ensure that everyone can communicate effectively. This linguistic diversity is also a reflection of New York City being an important hub for international trade and commerce, which attracts people from all over the world for business, education, and tourism. The Empire State Building is a world-famous skyscraper located in New York City. It was completed in 1931 and stood as the tallest building in the world until 1971. It is 1,250 feet or 381 meters tall and has 102 stories. The building was designed in the Art Deco style, which was popular in the 1920s and 1930s. The Empire State Building's construction took just over one year to complete and cost $40,948,900 in total. The building was originally built to be used as office space, but today it also has an observation deck on the 86th floor, which offers panoramic views of the city. The Empire State Building has been featured in numerous movies and TV shows, including King Kong, 1933, Sleepless in Seattle, 1993, and Elf, 2003. The building is lit up at night with different colored lights to commemorate various holidays and special events. The Empire State Building was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1986 and a New York City Landmark in 1981. It was the first building to have more than 100 floors. The Empire State Building has an annual lighting ceremony that takes place on the eve of Independence Day, with the building spire being lit with red, white, and blue lights. Central Park is popular for a number of reasons. One of the main reasons is its location. It is situated in the heart of Manhattan, New York City, and easily accessible to millions of people who live, work, or visit the city. The park is also surrounded by some of the city's most iconic landmarks, such as the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the American Museum of Natural History, and Lincoln Center, which makes it a perfect destination for tourists. The park also offers a wide range of activities and attractions for visitors of all ages and interests. The park has several lakes, gardens, fountains, sculptures, playgrounds, sports fields, and courts. There are many recreational areas like the Central Park Zoo, the Central Park Carousel, the Delacorte Theater, the Central Park Boathouse, and many more. Central Park also serves as a natural oasis in the middle of a bustling metropolis. It offers a peaceful retreat from the noise and crowds of the city, with plenty of opportunities for people to relax and enjoy nature. The park's landscaping is beautiful, with well-manicured gardens, lawns, and trees, and it is a great place for a picnic, a stroll, or a bike ride. 
Additionally, Central Park has a rich history and cultural significance. It was one of the first public parks in the United States and has played host to many important events and historical figures. It was also the first urban park in the United States to be designed by professional and landscape architects, making it a prime example of urban park design. All of these factors contribute to make Central Park one of the most popular tourist destinations and a beloved landmark of New York City. The New York City Subway System The New York City Subway System is the largest rapid transit system in the world by number of stations. It is operated by the Metropolitan Transportation Authority MTA, and serves the city of New York and its surrounding areas. The subway system is made up of 24 lines and 468 stations. It is one of the most extensive and complex subway systems in the world, with a total track length of over 842 miles 1,355 kilometers. The subway system is an essential part of the city's infrastructure, providing millions of people with a fast, efficient, and affordable way to get around. It is used by commuters, tourists, and residents alike, and it runs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It is also considered one of the most convenient public transportation systems in the world. The subway trains are powered by electricity and run on steel rails, which allows them to travel quickly and smoothly. The subway system also includes a number of transfer points, where passengers can switch between lines free of charge to reach their destination. Times Square Times Square is a major commercial and entertainment district in New York City, located at the intersection of Broadway and 7th Avenue. It is named after the New York Times, which moved there in 1904. Times Square is known for its bright lights and billboards and is often referred to as the crossroads of the world. It is home to the world-famous New Year's Eve ball drop. This attracts millions of people from all over the world each New Year's Eve to watch the ball drop and celebrate the New Year. It is also home to many Broadway theaters, and it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in New York City. Times Square is one of the most visited tourist attractions in the world, with an estimated 50 million visitors annually. It is also home to many famous landmarks, such as the TKTS Discount Booth, which offers discounted tickets to Broadway shows, and the Nasdaq and Thomson Reuters billboards, which display stock prices and other financial information. Times Square is also a major transportation hub, with subway and bus lines, and the Port Authority bus terminal providing access to the rest of the city. It was once known for its high crime rate and seediness, but it has undergone a major redevelopment and revitalization in the past few decades, and it's now a safe and vibrant destination for visitors. Times Square is also a major center for the advertising industry, with one of the highest concentrations of billboards and LED signs in the world.